Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. Thank you for joining me. This is the Daily Tarot for Wednesday the 3rd. Wednesday? No, Thursday the 3rd of December. Thursday? Wednesday? Thursday. <laughs> the 3rd of December 2020. Okay, hope you're well wherever you are. Let's see what we can see in this major arcana reading. Okay. Beautiful. Right, I'm doing a five card palindrome. So um, I've just laid them all down, uh, face down. And uh, I'm going to turn them up like that, not like that. <laughs> now, the card in the middle is the key card for the reading. I don't believe it. It's what we had yesterday. Strength in the upright. Okay, now I'm going to turn the two cards immediately either side of that. Okay. Honestly, I shuffle, I promise. We've got the devil and the lovers in the reverse. We had the devil yesterday. I think the devil came up as a, a sort of late clarifier yesterday. Okay, excuse me. And now the two cards are um, right on the edge. Right, we've got the Empress and the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, so now yesterday's readings reading was a story about um, the lack of, uh, or the perceived lack of something either starting we had the empress in the reverse so this was about um the seed the sprouting seed not sprouting <laughs> um and we had uh the world no judgment in the reverse and this was about um the final sort of counting in final accounting for everything not happening today we've got the empress in the upright so there is a sprouting of whatever it is um, something starting, something germinating, something, um, yeah, starting on its cycle of growth. Card number three, um, after the zero card, the full, card number one, the magician, and interestingly, card number two, the high priestess, here in the reverse. Now this is knowing, this is self-awareness. Um, the full card, card zero, is just the existence, the pure, unalloyed, unmitigated, unagenderized existence of the self with all its potential. Completely empty, infinite space to, to move into. Card number one, uh, the magician, is the, the force of can do, of making stuff happen. Card number uh, two, the High Priestess here, is knowing that we are who we are. It's the ego, in essence, the wisdom of the ego. The ego gets a very bad press uh, in the West, and I think it's a, probably a sort of, dare I say it, bastardization of Freudian thinking. The ego is simply the sense of embodied self and being distinct from others that that that's all it is <laughs> it's it's not bad in and of itself it all depends on how we live it and what we do with it how we employ it so the card of, of um i know i am me but here it's in the and, and i trust that i am me i trust that knowledge i'm sure of that but here it's in the reverse and um, coupled as i say on the outside of this reading with um, the Empress in the upright today, having moved from the um, reverse position yesterday. Um, and I'm kind of not surprised there's still this, um, there's still doubt here or, or something non-committal about this. Because while um, the Empress has moved into the upright so something is growing something is coming something is germinating beginning to move towards um magnification um we still have in the same position as yesterday this strength card 
self-mastery. Um, so this is uh, clearly something uh, that continues to require to be um, engaged with in this reading. And um, this Empress in the reverse is kind of, I don't know, the words that come to my mind is, am I really here? Do I really exist in and of myself? Um, and kind of, is it right that I do so? Because in order for anything to grow, Empress, and in order for the self to be mastered, strength card, by the self, um, we have to actually know that we are what we are. And there's a doubt about that. And that's what I'm getting from the uh, High Priestess in the reverse today. Now the two cards immediately either side of the strength card, we have the devil and we have the lovers in the reverse. So this for me, not just because it's in the reverse, but lovers in the reverse here is a kind of adjunct to the empress in the reverse. And it all feeds in to this self-mastery um, thing <laughs> in the strength card. It all feeds into it because in the, uh, in the lover's card, we have, um, we are on the brink here of taking a choice. This card used to be called the choice. And we can see um, a young man here standing between his potential future wife on one side and his mother, the queen, on the other side, sort of behind him. His potential future wife is in front of him and he is, as we see, rather inclining <laughs> her way. And um, his mother is standing behind him. So we've got what he can step into and what he steps away from. And this is the point in the tarot cycle where we become aware that it's not possible to split oneself down the middle and have both. Or we would have to split oneself down the middle, which would be essentially um, a split self, a split ego. Uh, not a good idea. A split personality. Um, and we know what's going to happen here because we have the little um, cherub here, the little camera and the little eros who's about to fire the arrow to set off a, a, a train of consequences when the arrow finds its mark. Because it's, it's got... Um, the, uh, the potion of love uh, coated on its tip and it's just going to make it happen. It's going to, in a sense, force the union between the young man and the potential future wife. So we know what the outcome's going to be, but it's not so much about, oh, should I go this way or should I go that way? It's the awareness that we cannot have both. Essentially, you can't have your cake and eat it, <laughs> let alone keep it in the deep freeze until you're ready. Uh, to eat it in your own good time you can't can't have it and here we're in the reverse so there's a there's a hesitation about being on that brink and what the implications are if we step forward into a, a new paradigm if we like grab hold of the stick shift of, of of life and go up a gear which is essentially what what he's going to do I mean, rightly so, you know, he's he's too big to go home with his mother, really, and sort of go, oh, no, you're all right. Oh, I don't want to go on a date with you. I'll, uh, I'm going to go home and watch TV with my mum. <laughs> um, so, but there's a hesitation about taking that step. And it's quite deeply rooted. Um, And this hesitation is um, going to um, going to be overcome. And I see that clearly because we have the Empress on the table in the upright, having shifted from the reverse position for yesterday. You know, the growth and uh, in, in the same way as what happens when that arrow finds its finds its mark there, it's inevitable. Growth is inevitable. It's just what the universe does. <laughs> um so um however <laughs> in the context of this reading back to the present 
where there's this kind of like oh i'm getting a really strong feeling of like oh uh, what what will happen if i take this step because once i've taken this step um in a sense every step we take there's no going back <laughs> and uh that's the uh high priestess in reverse here um accompanied by the devil that i was talking about the devil in yesterday's reading um you know those old familiar wounds what happens if we let go of them because we can you know most of the um familiar old familiar wounds that we have like in in our hearts are predicated simply on emotion which has no material uh, existence thought which has no material existence and um habits about how we interpret things um we call that our personality <laughs> and, and perhaps our fate and our destiny but it's just immaterial biochemical neurochemical stuff happening inside us very often as i say just just habit just habit from old stuff and i'm not saying it's meaningless i'm not saying it's based on on nothing but you know the fact remains is it does have no material existence in the same way as say uh, an item of food does for example or or a house or a car or something and and in so far as that i mean just in the same way as you can't turn a car into a chicken um or or a house into a i don't know block of cheese or something with that material in the material we um um in general by our habits we can't do that but with what's inside us with our thoughts our feelings our interpretations we can we can and that is the most extraordinary control that we have and power that we have and i'm getting that really strongly from this strength card you know the, the soul ultimately power we have is to um choose what goes on in there and how we live it in there and therefore how the communication between these two things functions in our lives we have total control over that and only we have control over that it's the most stupendous power right i'm going to i'm going to get another one here on uh, the empress because we've got as i say quite a lot of of kind of holdy backy energy here with the high priestess in the reverse the lovers in the reverse the devil in the upright here i mean the combination i think the one combination i haven't looked at yet of strength and the high priestess is pretty pokey you know this does speak very very well of um of the outcome for this reading you know growth germination moving into expansion conception pregnancy something growing wonderful i'm going to get another one on um on the empress here because that might give us a little bit more gen on why the strength card has come up again Judgment in the reverse. Okay, um, there's a, a call here, literally, the call of the angel of judgment here. There's a call here to accept that in, in making our way through whatever karmic endeavor we're engaged upon, that's brought you to this reading whatever it is um like it or not we own our own karma 
We own the, the karmic upshots and ripples of, um, of our actions and our decisions. And uh, just as I, I say that um, changing or, or controlling or, or, yeah, taking charge of our thoughts and our feelings um, in the context of understanding that they are immaterial and therefore can be transformed at any time we want and the stupendous power therein, there is also um, a stupendous responsibility involved in that. And um, there's a, that it can, can be quite scary. <laughs> that can be quite scary. But listen, where else are you going to put it? Where else are you going to put your faith rather than in your own hands? Because if you put it in someone else's, which may be really quite tempting to do, um you kind of belong to whoever that is or whatever that is and uh no <laughs> wait one more to crown this off okay the hanged man look at this in a different way look at this in a different way or oh, not this Look at your situation, whatever it is, in a different way. Um, try running a thought experiment. And now I'm gonna suggest a thought experiment to you. If you're facing a, uh, should I do this or should I do that? I mean, bottom line is we do not know at all ever <laughs> what the large scale kind of judgment scale ramifications and and fallout from any decision that we take is going to be we just don't know because it's not just us you know we're, there's there's interaction um however if it's like oh you know if i do this maybe that and so maybe i'll kind of like hold back lovers in the reverse here's a thought experiment the hanged man who's hanging upside down and seeing if he can get any inspiration from looking at everything the other way up. If you don't do it, whatever it is, what, what will you kind of be left with? Like this young man, if he doesn't move towards the potential future wife in order to um, sow seeds <laughs> for germination, pregnancy, growth, a new generation. He goes home with his mum. Uh, what will what will be left? What what will what will be the upshot? What do you know? If you want to stay with the familiar, stay with the familiar, but you can't have the familiar and the unfamiliar um, in one go. So is it worth it? And that is uh, what's being suggested to me as a thought experiment. Is it worth it? Five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, which believe me, will will come like that is it enough to have not stepped into um whatever it is you're choosing whether to step into or not right i'm going to leave it there thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon for another reading namaste